the IMF board is expected to reconvene on January 18, 2024, to review Ghana's program and potentially approve the release of the second $600 million tranche. This follows the completion of an official creditor committee's negotiations on the terms of restructuring Ghana's debts encapsulated in the term sheet for the country. Isaac Ofiej is lead data analyst here at Joy News, and uh, he is still with me via Zoom. With more coffee, grateful. What exactly is the, is the agreement, and how important is this step? Right, Kojo, this is the stage that we've been waiting for for almost for more than nine months, I must say, that we've been waiting for this stage to get access to that 600 million disbursement. But what this means is that uh, currently we know that when the negotiations actually started, what became the problem was how to settle on a cutoff date. But we are learning that bilateral creditors have agreed that December 2022 should be the cutoff date uh, for the consideration of fresh you know, interest payments for the years ahead. Mm -hmm. So we are learning that governments may not be paying interest uh, on its external debt in terms of the bilateral for the next four years, interest payment will actually start the fifth year. And so that will give government some fiscal space to breathe 2024 because we know that the budgeted amount for interest payments on external loans for 2024 is estimated around $3 billion. And so if we are having uh, that sort of, you know, uh, assurance from the bilateral creditors then it is good news and it also means that uh, we are currently hoping to get that additional 600 million okay now is this the final step or there is more to do to get the disbursement well definitely this is not a final step um, i mean although the finance minister is hopeful uh, that when they meet the executive board they will get uh, the disbursement. The reason why I say this is not a final step is because mm. the decision to grant the disbursement of the 600 million doesn't lie with the finance minister, nor the staff of the IMF. It lies with the executive board, and they will make that approval. And they will make the approval based on the magnitude of the needed financing assurance that government was able to, uh, you know, accrue from okay. the bilateral talks. And so they will be submitting what they have to the executive board, they will look at it and if they feel or they assess it and they, they have a feel that it is sufficient and enough to grant that additional 600 million disbursement, then they will go ahead. And so the final decision lies in the bosom of the IMF executive board. Okay, let's see how that goes. Well, I will.